let it warm up a little more. Yeah. Yeah. I found a Greg. Hey, Greg's going for a ride for once. Yeah, I want to try it. Greg. It was fun. It has that very side by side ish feel. <laughs> it, it, it I like still exactly, get I get butterflies. It felt like exactly like a turbo side by side. Like literally exactly. <laughs> That's the Cody special. That's my special. Oh, it must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like your kickstand. Yeah. I like it. jacking up bug? Yes. Why are you jacking up the bug? So we can wait. What is this? How does this work? Um, so they're wireless scales. Um, basically you just turn them on, stick them under the car, and lower it down. And, and it's all for each? Yeah, one on each wheel. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So it'll tell you corner to corner weight, balance, all that. Okay, guess is bets. Uh, I'm going to say 1643. <laughs> 1200. 13. Okay, 13. Yeah. I will meet you all in the middle and say 14. Okay. If it weighs 12, yeah, I got it. <laughs> if it weighs 12, I'm going to myself. I could probably pick the bug body up and weigh that too and then add them together. Oh, yeah. Shoot. What is it? 1731. Oh, that's so heavy. No, it's not. Okay. It's just as much as this. 17. Make... Yeah, but then we got a 300 oh, pound. Yeah, yeah, what's the weight distribution? So you're five, I mean, you're 30% in the rear, 20% front, 360, 370. 30% and 20%. That's not bad for there being nothing in the front, right? Yeah. Well, no, because I guess that's 60, 40. Yeah, so that's. I gotta think when I did like the Honda. Split it's on the, the opposite, it was right? Just the opposite. Yeah. And mine was 1850 before we put the turbo kit and stuff on it. And it went up to 1999. If I lift the bug body up, can we put yeah. those underneath? Yeah. So what? Put it like what was that? 17, 1732. All right. What can we cut off? We got to get down to 1200. <laughs> or you bought a battery? That's without me in it. Oh. There's nothing on it right now. We can take off. I know, it was a joke, Mina. Oh, you run it with no wheels and tires. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's good, slide it under there. Okay. I thought you said it wasn't that heavy. Well, it's still a freaking oh, car body. Too. Dang. So that puts me right at 2000. 23 with you in it. What is an MR2? <laughs> what is an MR2 wave factory? I thought they were like. Not that heavy? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I thought they were like 24. Huh? 24? They're probably 26. 
That's, well, that's disappointing. You had me so excited when you said 12 last time. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was hoping to weigh 12, and then we can make 200, and we'd be stupid yeah, fast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Still impresses me. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much quicker than I thought. So didn't you race Nick in that CTSV that one day? Didn't you guys both line up? Uh, or was that not, something else? We did, but we didn't line up together. But for oh, the most okay. part, most people were like, it we looked like this thing was pretty quick. Yeah, we were all like, uh, okay. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> You're good at launching too. Like it's hard it's to launch. Everyone at Bandermere always screws up a SUV launch. You got it down pretty good. Yeah, I mean it has a good clunch in it. It's locked in the rear, so it has an LSD. Um, I mean, good clutch, good tranny. That crackhead was interesting. He was. Interesting. <laughs> it's like you don't have a torch you solder with. I know. No. Like, it's like I know our cars may not freaking have the best wiring, but no, we don't have a soldering gun on us. <laughs> All right, I'll stay up here so I get you cooking. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, he watches our videos, so he'll hear me say this, but between you and I, I think that thing would wax the bug. Like, in person, <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> he even screwed up the second gear launch, or the second gear shift, and it's still cooked. <laughs> Oh, you get stuck in first gear! <laughs> and it's still oh. hot. <laughs> uh, oh, that was pretty funny. You smell clutch? Could be. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> See you next time. Yes, sir. I don't know if you guys get tired of seeing this, but uh, this is all a Raptor interior, which actually looks the same as the Earth Roamers I do, except it's got paddle shifters, and you gave me a couple little extra parts. Nitrous bottles, you'll see a video of that. I got three earth roamers. I'm getting another one dropped off tomorrow and nine freaking sinks. Let me know if you guys get tired of the hydro dip and stuff, but it's what I do. It's part of uh, making all this work. So I got this. I don't even know what this is, but I got to dip this. Um, this is Hux Racing Valve Cover, so I'll probably do a short little video on that. And then I'm doing this uh, air suspension tank in green lightning. I might throw that in the Hux Racing one in a, a nice short and sweet video. Something to look forward to for the next video that you're going to see. Uh, our friend Dean, this was a giant sheet of Lexan they had at their work, but because it had been sitting outside and there were scratches on the corner, it's basically scrapped to them. So he was able to bring that by. Um, so we're going to use that to make front windshield, an engine cover for coolant protection and some noise because that thing is pretty loud inside because all the all the sound of the exhaust just goes inside of it. And then um, this rear window that you'll see more about that we busted, we're gonna make a, kind of make a custom window and tack this so we are able to fill it up with fuel uh, a lot easier. So, uh, and then yeah, Jeep windshield. I have, it, I'm not, business is not slowing down. Uh, it's really good, but uh, unfortunately for YouTube, it means you know, I'm, I'm doing what I can. Next video, we trimmed up the bug body. I broke a window. It, you know, we're making progress. Basically, on the bug, we're on the countdown for the dyno. Um, for the Jeep, I'm getting tire, I'm getting wheels and tires for my Colorado, so I'll show you that. Um, it's not super exciting, but the Jeep, about mid-month, I should have enough to buy Holly for the Jeep, and then um, I might actually also have enough to do with the water, the air, and the cooler. So we should have everything for the Jeep to run, drive, and get tuned before the bug is dynoed. So. Like I've been saying, this is, we're hoping this is our summer where just everything just kicks off and everything just, just goes. So I got to get back to work. I got a lot to do. This is going to be a, a, another really hard month of just trying to get everything done. Dennis is making good progress in his new shop next door. Um, Greg is building a 500 horsepower Subaru wagon. We just, we're going to have all sorts of random for you guys. So I'm going to get back to work. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for, uh, just kind of going with the flow. We'll see you uh, in a couple days.